As we've seen with title block integration and using fields on the face of the drawing, it's very easy to get information from these properties in your sheet set onto the face of your drawing using field mechanics. But what if we needed to add some additional properties to describe our project? And what if we wanted to go in and make those changes midstream in the project while we already have several different drawings in process? Well, it turns out that's straightforward to do. All we do is go to the top of our sheet set here, Access Properties, and in the bottom corner you will notice an Edit Custom Properties function here, which we can go ahead and use. Now it's very easy to add a custom property, so let, let's say that I want to have a new property for Responsible Engineer, and that's going to be different for every different uh, layout or drawing within our set. So what I'll do is put Responsible Engineer a default value, well, we don't really know what that's going to be. It's different every time. So I'll just put in a, a period just as a placeholder. And this will be sheet specific because that's not going to be the same for every uh, sheet within the sheet set. Press OK, and we now see that that has been added to our sheet set properties. If we wanted to do something like an archive designator, that would be the same for every sheet within the set. So that would be something or we could just put archive designation. Again, we don't really know what that value is, so we'll just go ahead and put in a point, but this would be something global to the overall sheet set, not sheet specific. So now we can see how these are stacking up. Now, if you'd like to place these onto the drawing with fields, you'll be able to go back and find your custom properties when you insert text or linked attributes using fields. After you've created the custom properties that you wish for the entire sheet set and sheet specific, you'll see them reflected in your properties listing here. Simply acknowledge this with OK. And remember that in order for all of this to be final, the changes have to be written down into all the various affected layouts and files. So you'll want to go to the top of your sheet set again right click and say resave all sheets to make sure that all the property values are pushed down into every sheet within the list. That's all there is to it. Very easy to globally modify all the properties that you need to fully describe your project.